the body is the basic, the body is the foundation. If your body is not awakened, and it's quite difficult to awake your mind. But the purpose of any practice is what? To get to know yourself better, understand yourself better. Many people uh, wanted to awake, you know, wanted to liberate, wanted to freedom, wanted to have a, a happy life, beautiful life. If you can go deep, there is possibility. The most of the time actually afraid. People are scared of going inside of themselves, but they want to go outside. Only way you can expand the capacity when you let go of your fear, let go of the insecurity. And in, in, in Vajrayana, we always say that um, the, there is a, that awareness which is outward, outer, the five, five senses and the six the sense consciousness, which is always going out, you know, always looking, I'm looking at outside, I'm talking outside, and it's just grasp, grasping everything, we think everything is outside, and we are looking outside, we are looking everything, and it's, it's a, the whole materialism is journey of outer world. The spiritual journey is all about coming in. So it's a beautiful, when you are in the Mahamudra meditation, which the whole, uh, the, the focus of the whole six yoga of Naropa. So Mahamudra is going to this inside, the, the essence of that candle, the essence of the awareness, which is, which is beyond time, which is beyond space. Be in the moment. Be in the moment, otherwise it's the world. You become available to you what exactly you're doing, 100%. The first thing is that we have to take care of our physical body. So there are people, they say, okay, I, I have to be now be disciplined, this and that. But it's quite difficult just through disi discipline or just through some theoretical knowledge. You have to practical, you have to awake your body. And I would say the Hatha Yoga is the one which is working directly with the body and of, of course if you talk a little bit deeper so it's working from this the main three channels or five chakras or seven and all the 72,000 channels and, and that, that those channels are more or less like energy channels but which is connected to the physical all this new the neurological kind of whole physical body if you practice a normal practices with the acceptance, be totally dedicated. Dedication and a duty, two different things. We do a lot of things out of duty. Drop the duty out to side. Dedication, devotion, two things, bringing them together. Dedication, devotion, a completely surrender. And remain open to whatever experience it happened, you are available to feel it, but no judgment to it. You can create a possibility. I would really suggest first work with the body, awake your body. Once the body starts to awake, you will become uh, very healthy and your emotion will be very stable. Uh, it's a very, very, very natural phenomenon. On the, you just become first available to the body, you feel the sensation. Your body has sensation all day long. But the, we don't really feel them, we judge them. Accept them, feel them. Other one, your breath is 24-7 there. 24-7, become available to the breath. The touch of the sensation, become available to the touch of the breath. What happens, but don't judge it. Don't compare it. Don't try to manipulate it. Don't try to uh, bring any technique to it. Just only become available to the breath. That's the Buddhism practice called Anapana. Like the breath with the meditation so just completely 100% available to the breath the first practice of Buddhism is nothing it's just only the anapana becoming available if you're not with you where else you are you can't practice it you say how people can learn it the simplest way you lie down stay still you feel the body sensation point one. Second part become available to the breath they're both of them are gross substance they exist happening all the time if i give you the more more higher practices that will be difficult because we like to go immediately to the end if you don't create a good foundation 
connection to where you are and not possible. So this is what I mean, once your body is awakened, then, so like I start with asana, then you walk with your pranayama, the walking with the, the subtle energy, the wind, and then after that you walk with the mind, you know, meditation and, and all this you know, visualization, chanting mantra. So there is a step, body, wind, and mind. Do you see that? It's because it's, it's gross, subtle, and subtlest. And there are many people that directly jump to the meditation and say, I, I want to meditate. You understand? Meditate for three years, five years, and then, and then they start to complaining. I mean, they told me, many people told me, oh, Rinpoche, I've been meditating for that long, I'm still not stable. Do you understand? I mean, I still couldn't change my habits and this and that. Of course, you're, you're walking with a subtle. Your wind is not yet purified. Your body is yet, not yet awakened. All you have to do is become available to create a possibility for it to be experienced. Buddha simply means fully awakened one. So the translation, the Buddha, the, the Sanskrit word, when you translate, that means fully awakened one. Fully awakened. Body is fully awakened, the wind is fully awakened, and the mind is fully awakened, then you become Buddha. So there's nothing to do with the Buddhism. Do you understand? The Buddha simply means anyone can become Buddha. It doesn't matter which religion you have, which belief. But if you awake your body, your wind, and your mind, you are Buddha. So learn to spend time with yourself, basically, not outside.